In this video, I will show you how to mass personalize your cold emails using chat GPT. Now, there are a lot of videos on YouTube which teach you some basic, utter, you know, done and dusted frameworks which teach you how to basically, uh, you know, create this outreach scripts and whatnot. Uh, and they mostly involve like some Chrome plugins, GPT for sheets or whatnot, right? Now, here's the problem with that particular approach. Uh, I have tested it and it absolutely doesn't work. Why? Because uh, these particular scripts uh, only work if the data set is before the chat GPT's learning window. So chat GPT, if you know, it has been uh, used by training the internet or a lot of data on the internet. And the cutoff date for chat GPT uh, 4 or even 3 is about, uh, I think, uh, September of 2021. If the website is built after 2021, then this process will not work. So when I did this with the campaign, we got some horrible results and I thought like, you know what, it needs to optimize, we need to have a better way to do it. We need to have a better way to do it. So that's what I've discovered. So let me walk you through this entire process and show you how exactly uh, we do it. You can see my screen and here you could see like there are some LinkedIn profiles, there are some uh, websites of the companies and uh, unfortunately this uh, technique doesn't work on LinkedIn profiles yet because LinkedIn doesn't allow you to scrape the data of the particular website. So for this we will be using chat GPT, especially GPT-4. So let me open up chat GPT and show you the initial kind of settings that we need to do, right? So we'll be using something called as GPT-4 plugins. Now, if you have bought GPT-4, I tell you this is one of the best investment out there. It's like having an intern for like $20 a month, right? So first of all, we need to enable this plugins, right? So we are enabling two plugins here, two particular beta features. One is a code interpreter, another is plugin. And the way to do it is just click here on the top left corner, go to your name and go to settings and beta and then go to beta features and turn these two things on. That's all you have to do, right? Um, and then close it up. Next, I have created these prompts to let ChatGPT know what exactly we are expecting out of it. The way we write cold emails is usually something like this. It says like, hey Jayant, then a customized line about Jayant, let's say, came through your website, loved the awesome case studies that you have. Next, I'm reaching out because I specialize in the new value proposition. Let's say I specialize in editing YouTube videos and I have edited for you know, 10 other YouTube creators so far and I would love to share my samples or do one video for you. Is this something that you'd be interested in? Done. We write a very short email, but the core of this email is the first line of personalization, which is very, very specific to the person you are reaching out to. All right. So how do we write that first email at scale? Like if you try and write this first line for all of your people, it might take a lot of your time and energy. Right. So to counter that, I have used GPT. So this is the prompt that we use, which is like, uh, you know, first prompt uh, is we call it like multi, multi channel or multi step prompt. The first prompt writes something like this. Uh, I'm talking about who is a cold email first line writer. The cold email first line writer is the person who writes customized and personalized compliment about the prospects when we send cold emails. This makes the cold email look authentic and brings in more reply rates. Do, do, do you understand? Why do I do this? Because we are basically training chat GPT on what exactly are we wanting here, right? So it says, hey, yes, I understand a cold email first line writer crafts personalized and tailored compliments or remarks about the prospects in the opening line. This approach makes the email appear more genuine, tailored to the recipient, which can increase the likelihood of getting a response. It's a strategy to make cold email outreach more effective by immediately capturing the recipient's attention and making them feel valued, right? Now, what we need to do is check the next prompt. It's like act like a first line writer, use the web pilot plugin. So in the plugins, by the way, uh, I'll just show you this. This is something that we need to do first. Go to plugins and you know, here you'll see something. You pick something called as web pilot. If you don't see it, just scroll down and you'll find something called as plugin store and search for web pilot. So it would be like, there'll be a button called installed. So once you install, then this thing comes up. Anywho, so just install it and you'll see this thing, right? And every time you use chat GPT, this, this, this button here, if you click here, you can find the web pilot plugin, right? So now it's done. Next, what we need to do is like send this particular message. 
uh, I add 10 rules to write first line. So it's like rule number one, write a casual, not too enthusiastic compliment about their products. I would say services or better their case studies and achievements. Be specific and say something that can only be said to this company. Don't be cringe and write in the voice of some of the best cold email experts in the world. Always refer to brand as you or yours. By the way, shout out to my man Jordan Platten. He is my coach when it comes to agency outreach and cold emailing. I got this particular prompt from him. Uh, rule number four, please try to keep it short. Rule number five, write only one sentence. Rule number six, uh, start the sentence. This is my personal thing. I write, start the sentence with just found company's website and loved whatever you loved about it, right? Rule seven, don't be cringe, not overly enthusiastic. I repeat these things because it tends to forget. Uh, rule number eight, compliment uh, must be less than 12 words. Make it super personalized so that the receiver of the email gets hooked to the email. Be specific to the product range, awards and accolades, content of the company or the testimonials. Then you write from your lead list, you take like 10 of the websites, uh, mainly websites, not social media profiles yet. So I have added them and do it for all 10. In case you can't find any information of the website, write no info. So we'll copy this particular prompt and paste it here. Now it will take some time and we'll go through each of their home pages and write a line for us. So let's just wait for it to finish and then I'll show you how this thing is done. All right, so GPT has finished creating the first lines. The next prompt basically asks GPT to pretty much put it in a simple tabular format. So what I'll do is I'll copy this and paste it here. And now the magic is just builds this entire thing in a table. We can just copy and paste it in our uh, sheet so that we can use it in our email marketing tool to start sending emails. So what, it took like five minutes to create like 10 compliments. And if you sit for an hour, you will have 60 of those ready. And if you sit on weekend, you'll have about a thousand compliments ready. That's the beauty of it. It's so scalable. And using this, uh, you know, I, I, we can do one better. You can pick, uh, let's say you go to, instead of the normal homepage URL, you can put their about page, their careers page or their news page and ask them to scrape a particular data about from the company, right? So this way, what happens is your messaging becomes more targeted and you increase your response rates like anything. So I hope this helps and if it did, then let me know with a comment saying loved it and what exactly you loved about it. And I will share this particular prompt list with you. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.